Hey guys, Kid Gary here with a tutorial today, basically on, you know, Windows, Vista, and XP, uh, speed product sp productivity within folder options, stuff like that, how to increase fold, uh, in Windows Explorer, how to increase speed within file surfing, and file searching, all that stuff, and it's really important, guys, because, uh, you know, Explorer is used a lot to get your documents, whatever it may be, and, you know, if it goes slow, then, you know, that doesn't really productive and it saves you time if you try out these tweaks. So first off, I hope you notice the new background. It's pretty cool. I thought I thought it was pretty cool. It's all animated, uh pixelated I should say, but uh there you go, you Windows, Linux and Apple OS shootout. I thought it was pretty cool. If you want the background you, uh, a lot of people always ask me what background, where do I get them? I just Google search them usually. If you want the backgrounds I have, email me uh at Center at gmail dot com or YouTube and I'll try and as best to get the link for you. So with that said, um Another question that's commonly asked in my tutorials: Why do I always use my XP rather than Vista when I use? Because, um, well, I do use Vista sometimes. It's just that it's compatible with both OSs. You can do it on XP or Vista. I tend to use XP more because I have more file. Uh, I have more um, file space on my XP computer, and I have an external hard drive hooked up. And it's just a little faster than it is with Vista. Uh, faster to go through with Vista and a lot more people are still using XP and it's generally the same on Vista just a different interface so you can you'll manage so first off to get to this you're gonna wanna go to control panel that's in your start menu control panel and head over to folder options and this little dialog box will open up and first thing you'll be at will be general and things you can you know tweak around if you want if you don't want double click it to open stuff you can make it single click it's up to you but what I want to talk about mainly is go to f uh, view and you're gonna want to see where it says right here which says uh... that will be checked for you where the first thing which is automatically search for network folders and printers this is generally when you uh... open up windows explorer usually if you're on a network or you know even if you're not it searches for network folders or printers that are on your network connection or whatever it looks to see if there's any shared folders anything like that there's other stuff on the network if there's network printers hooked up you know via ethernet or either via you know the cable or wirelessly within the network so that takes up a lot of you know uh usage within the windows explorer that's what makes it the file searching come slow sometimes when you if you like maybe you know if you have a brand new computer you don't have many folders but when you tend to you know get a lot of folders and documents and all these subfolders uh, it's gonna become a pain because it has to work in the background of all those folders processing still, so it gets really slower and slower. So, even if you are using a, you know, even if you're just going in to check a word document, it still searches. That's the thing. So, um, even if you do have, if you do have a printer and fold network folder, I'm pretty sure you can still turn this off. It's just not gonna automatically search for it right in the get go. So when you go to your look for your printer or folder, it just might take a couple seconds longer to find it right away. So, just you know, it's. In the end, though, it's all worth it because it saves you time in general if you're looking for a document. So go ahead and uncheck that. And if you're also there, also check out these other stuff like, you know, cache thumbnails and all that stuff. But another feature I also want you to check out is where it says hidden files and folders. Make sure that show hidden files and folders is on, especially if it's your computer. But, you know, if your parents or whatever, you know, whoever, if you're sharing the computer and they don't want you, you know, if they have hidden folders, that's, you know, up to you. But... Uh, I do that so I can find all my files just in case there's any files that are hidden within programs or anything like that. So after you got all that done, just apply it. I already have that applied. And you know, you'll notice it. I'm, I th I'm not sure if you have to, I don't think you have to restart it, but you might want to if you want to, you know, see the best performance here. So let me just show you here. Uh, you know, mine's pr pretty, much pretty in instant. That's what people always ask. And um, so as you see there, when it's, uh, when it lags like that, Sometimes some people have that problem, and I usually say that that's the tweak that I direct them to. So just double click, you know, there. Now, playlist of there. You know, it's pretty instant for the most part. Now, and this is an old machine. This is a five, six old year machine. Just the tweaks that I did to it really, uh, you know, helped out a lot. So, anyways, guys, um, that's all I want to talk about today. And another thing within Vista, if you know, it's the same thing, it's just the same, it's a different interface. But there's another thing you can do in Vista. If you have a uh, Microsoft OneNote, which is a, I believe, a, a web editing uh, thing for Microsoft, is a, I'm pretty sure I'm not positive on that. Don't quote me. But OneNote uses a lot of programs in reserve for, uh, you know, it uses other programs to feed off of or something like that. So if you're if you ever see that OneNote option within your f folder options with around there in Vista, 
you might want to disable those programs just because uh, if you see Microsoft OneNote floating around and you have ability to check into the options in Vista, I'll I'll try and do a separate video on it. But just for now, if you have Vista, check that out because it might be it eats up a lot of uh, memory when you're you know surfing through your Windows Explorer or whatever. So, anyways, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Thanks for watching.